Well, my input in the self-defense aspect in Jiu-Jitsu, it is one of the most important part of Jiu-Jitsu. It, um, it is basically when you understand self-defense, that's going to allow you to create opportunities to submit your opponent and to most important, to not get submitted. That's why the self-defense plays such a huge part. Uh, in Jiu-Jitsu, a lot of practitioners, and uh, including myself, we believe that 90% of the fights can end up on the ground. But it's a fact that 100% start standing up. So it's very important for us to understand the self-defense aspect as a premier self of protection of yourself. And after you understand how to protect yourself, yeah, you can go ahead and, and grapple some, someone and you can utilize all the mechanics, all the beautiful mechanics that Jiu-Jitsu offer to you. But without self-defense, what happens that you build confidence to fight on, the, on tournaments and you're always on the mat, fight with tournaments. But if the self-defense aspect is not there, when you try to apply the Jiu-Jitsu techniques, you might be susceptible for a strike. You might be susceptible for some some kind of uh, grass. You know, when you go from one position to another position, it's very important to understand how to protect yourself all the time. The difference between Gracie Jiu Jitsu and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the easiest way to understand it is this: is that Gracie Jiu Jitsu is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but Brazilian Jiu Jitsu isn't necessarily Gracie Jiu Jitsu. And what I mean by that is, Gracie Jiu Jitsu is what the beginning was as far as self-defense goes. That's where it all began, that's where it all started from. So Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu really focuses on the sport aspect where Gracie Jiu-Jitsu focuses on the self-defense aspect and the street application of the techniques. The great thing about it is anybody can do Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Not anybody can do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And the reason I say that is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu really focuses, like I said, on the, the competition aspect the sport version of it, so a lot of people need to really be in good shape, they need to be athletes in order to perform well. In Gracie Jiu Jitsu, the whole goal is to be able to handle yourself in a real situation and use it anywhere at any time. And that's the whole point of it. So being that anybody can do Gracie Jiu Jitsu makes it that much more effective and makes it that much more um, of a lifestyle type of activity. Well, the Gracie Jiu Jitsu is the, the Jiu Jitsu my father, El Gracie, create. He's adjust. He fit for his kind of uh, body. Like you say, my father is a very small guy, very light guy, and then he need to have the detail, the knowledge to make the technique work. And, uh, and that's he do. You know, all his life he tried to adjust and modify the Jiu Jitsu. That was the main idea, the main concern that Elio Grace had was how can you survive first? And based on the survival, the submissions, the counterattacks, always came after. But the main idea was what to do to not to lose. How can you stay alive longer? How can you read the person's mind and the person's body mechanic to deflect, to deflect a punch or a striker that could come towards you? That was his main goal: is how not to lose. The, the, the basic, you know, the self-defense is uh, how it started you know. You just start as a self-defense, so uh, it's like the foundation of jiu-jitsu, and it's really important to know. Like where, the best way to introduce jiu-jitsu for somebody else is by the self-defense. So if I show a guy a omoplata move, a fly triangle, he's not gonna understand jiu-jitsu. Or if I show like a fight, I put a video and see, look, this is the tournament fight I watch, and the guy watch I sparring, and he's not gonna understand. He's not gonna know uh, what what that means. So. But the best way to show jiu-jitsu, you know, is, is by the self-defense. So when you introduce jiu-jitsu for somebody else, the self-defense is the best thing. So people can understand the leverage. So the even the people who don't train jiu-jitsu, they can understand jiu-jitsu by the self-defense. So I think it's really important, you know, the foundation of jiu-jitsu, you know. So yeah, self-defense. I mean, it, like I said, the Gracie, the Gracie system is all based on self-defense. Um, our system under Pedro Sauer, I mean, we're tested, you know, it's in our regular curriculum. A uh, professor made a promise uh, to, to Grandmaster Haleo that he would have all of his, as people progress through his ranks, that they would have the foundation that, that he, he built. Uh, so all of our association representatives are, are definitely tested in self-defense. Uh, is, it, is it useful? Of course. Um, you know, we're doing 
the difference between Sport Aspect and, and the South the Street version, uh, there's some pretty pretty significant differences in it. There's things in sport you would never do, um, you know, in a in a situation if you had to protect yourself. Um, the the contrary to that, the self defense techniques, uh, they're they're very they're technical. I mean, they can help you in a situation in in competition. Um, you know, one of the things that's, again, it's a very technical art. If you take the time to learn um, the, the technical aspects of it, obviously that's going to help you in competition as opposed to just strength or speed or, or physical attributes. The leverage is the, is the difference. Well, the difference between a regular competition jiu-jitsu and the great jiu-jitsu, it is mainly, it is the aspect of the sport. Um, today, most of people that get introduced to jiu-jitsu and they see competitions and they see thousands of people going to compete they see two guys grabbing each other and going for submission or going for points or going for mechanics after mechanics and so they get introduced to the competition era i think competition it is a very small part just a little piece of jiu-jitsu the self-defense the great jiu-jitsu it is it is the it is the whole aspect of jiu-jitsu in the meantime when you train yourself to be a submission master, on the meantime, you start making points. You get the points when in a match. That means you train yourself how to be a submission master. And when everybody in the school, they are submission masters, you don't care to lose two points or to get swept or, or somebody to do moves against you. That's not the, the end. You just lost a little piece of it. You're playing chess game and you lost a little piece. Now, when you train in a school where it's primarily self-defense, the moment that you blink your eyes, you get put in a submission. And that allowed you to be a self-defense expert. Because you know that when you train, you cannot blink your eyes. You cannot underestimate positions. You cannot underestimate techniques. When somebody put you in a technique and you gotta say uncle, you start being a believer. The difference between great jiu-jitsu and, and competition style jiu-jitsu is that great jiu-jitsu focus in submissions. And, and of course, when you focus on submission, you have to learn how to survive. Otherwise, you're going to get submitted every second. But points, it is just has to be a consequence of a good work, not a reason for your work.